breaking news on Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato was rushed to a hospital yesterday after she overdosed in her house in the Hollywood Hills. Uh, information is pretty scarce right now and the family urges that we not speculate and we respect their privacy. So I'm just gonna begin with a statement from the family. This came from uh, representatives of Demi Lovato. Demi is awake and with her family who want to express thanks to everyone for the love, prayers and support. Some of the information being reported is incorrect and Demi Lovato's family members respectfully ask for privacy and not speculation as her health and recovery is the most important thing right now. Um, so, so that's pretty much all that we have. I, it's good news, it's encouraging. I know this was uh, really scary yesterday to get the news. Um, I, I wonder, how did you guys find out? I, you texted me, um, but I'd seen I was with a friend before. Yeah, I, I got an alert from someone at work about it and then I looked it up and like it had broken like five minutes earlier and someone we know at TMZ was like, he also broke it to me. But yeah, this is, I mean, it's it's, it's really sad. She's been really upsetting. open about her, her struggle with addiction. Just last month, she released the song Sober where she revealed that she'd fallen off the wagon after being sober for six months. So she's been really transparent in her struggle with this. Um, it's, I, I, I don't know, I'm kind of struggling to find words, I'm a big, Demi Lovato fan, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm grateful that she's with family and that she's awake and she's doing better. And yeah, and I think because she has been so open and like transparent about this whole thing, we all feel like we are a part of this journey. I mean, especially people who have been with her since like the Camp Rock days, right. which if you watched her special on YouTube, you'd know that a lot of the problems, you know, started way back then. Mm -hmm. um, so we've all been with her through this journey, and it's just a reminder that addiction um, and you know mental problems—it's a disease. There's there's not a cure. It's an ongoing journey for people who have to go through this, um, and it's an ongoing journey for their family. I can only imagine how hard it was, you know, to, yeah. for her family to hear that this was happening. So and then it doesn't I, discriminate. You know, exactly. it doesn't it matter. There's no, no amount of success or money or anything that can sort of shield you yeah. from coping with this. Exactly. Um, what do you think, Hassan? What are your thoughts on this? Um, my, I mean, originally I was gonna talk about addiction, but since we're not speculating, since the, the, the latest updates were that it's uh, most likely not um, a heroin treatment. Um, what I do wanna say is uh, the, the, the overwhelming amount of commentary I saw on, on Twitter, and in social media, in in pop culture, even uh, that that vilifies addicts is is kind of dangerous, and it it's crazy because like fentanyl is a is a massive problem, like opiates are a massive problem in this country, and the fact that we still haven't been able to figure out the proper way to to uh, deal with disease, uh, I mean, I deal with the addiction as a disease rather than something that is criminal, mm -hmm. something that should be vilified. Is is rather uh, alarming to me because this is a real issue that impacts all Americans, just like you mentioned, not just the wealthy. I mean, not, not just yeah, yeah, not just like famous celebrities like Demi Lovato. Um, the other interesting element for me, at least, was uh, how differently people engaged with the Demi Lovato story in comparison to how quickly people were making fun of Lamar Odom. Um, right. When when he went through uh, kind of a similar thing. I mean, obviously, we don't know what Demi Lovato went through, but like. For public, for the public, the immediate reaction was, was vastly different, and I think that double standard is is interesting. I don't know if it was because Lamar. Odom, I'm not speculating. I don't know if it was right. because Lamar Odom was black or because he was a man, but it, it, we, if we're going to be careful with uh, uh, with uh, who we're judging and how we're judging them, we the should kind of apply of that Odom same story. Were a lot more like out there in the open. Like yeah, he was like found in that that brothel yeah. in Nevada. So like. It's a little bit different, but like I, I hear what you're saying. But the I, addiction I component think like, remains the same, right? Yeah. And and the it's just like why are we why are we so easily vilifying one person and and are easy to make fun of them? Not e not even just like one person to another, like not even just case versus case. I yeah. think that if your knee jerk reaction isn't compassion yeah. and respect and love. Oh my gosh, like please take a look at yourself. I I'm really fortunate that because I follow circles that are very supportive of Demi Lovato, mm -hmm. I was sheltered from that, but I did see some people, you know, saying, "Hey, like this is just a time for love and support." And I was like, "Who who is posting anything else?" But it but it no, is interesting that in of, other um, cases. The circles that I'm in, I guess, are were like well, quick I, to, I don't know about you guys, but like jokes. one of my reactions to this was anger and like I'm in frustration over like the the kind of people that Demi Lovato surrounds herself with. 
that like I, end I up know. enabling this. I, 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 yes, I, under, I understand where that anger comes from because I, I had that to an extent as well. But I also feel like we just there's so little that we know right now. Yeah. So we we really it, there could be awesome people in her circle that were just wrestling with something that they that a monster that they can't really contain. Um, and we we just don't know enough to yeah. say that like she has awful people in her life. She very well could have really loving caring, kind people that are trying to help her yeah. get better, but. One of those symptoms too is that you push away people that are closest to you right. that are trying to do the best yeah. thing for you. Um, and I think in some of the reports, it said that she had actually fired her sober life coach um, and pushed away a lot of friends that were really close to her. So, you know, it's not to say that there, you know, like you said, there weren't people that yeah. want the best for her. She definitely has a group of people that are there, you know, supporting her through everything. Yeah, and uh, I guess all of us just wish her well um, and send her lots of love and support, and we hope that you will do the same.